If you use ChatGPT, one of the biggest drawbacks of ChatGPT is that you cannot use it on your own data. If you want to use ChatGPT on your own data, you will have to use some service or ChatGPT API, which will take a lot of lines of Python code and to be very cumbersome. Embed Chain is a framework which can be used to write few lines of Python code and train ChatGPT like AI on your own data. You can give it your PDFs, you can give it your YouTube videos, you can give it any text or any question answer pair and it will get trained on your data after it gets trained on your data you can ask questions about your data and ai will answer your questions taking into account the context and data you have provided it we'll see how let's move on to a computer screen and let's get started so guys as you can see i'm inside of my akamai cloud manager and if you are somebody who is planning to follow along and planning to actually do something with embed chain or you want to do something industry grade, you should follow along because if you want to learn, you will have to follow along. Grab the link from the description and you are going to get $100 60 day credit on Linode and you can actually use all this absolutely free of cost. So everybody should sign up. I'm going to create a new VPS. I'm going to click on create and then Linode. I'm choosing Ubuntu 22, but you can choose any operating system of your choice. We are going to run Python and I am going to show you how Ember Chain works and why it is special. Now there are a lot of platforms that are actually capable of doing what Ember Chain is doing. But what I like about Ember Chain is that it is open source. Plus you get the customization. You can write your code and you can actually tell Ember Chain to parse a web page or say a PDF or a YouTube video for that matter. It can actually go through a YouTube video. I'll show you. Now let me give you some spoilers. Embed chain doesn't actually go to the video and understands it. It uses a transcript of the video. So YouTube has a feature which shows the transcript. It actually pulls the transcript from YouTube and it shows it. Uh, let's create a Linode 2 GB or let's go for 8 GB, uh, 4 GB shared CPU. I just want to make sure things work smoothly, but you can try on Nanode 1 GB as well and it is going to work for sure. Okay. So let's give a root password. I'm going to give a root password. Let's label this as code with Hari and I'm going to use a password. So let's give it a password and I'm giving it a good enough password. Let's create the Linode. This is going to create a VPS for me. You can choose the region whichever is nearest to you. I'm choosing Mumbai because I'm in India. If you are in US or you're watching this from UK or Australia, you are better off choosing the region which is nearest to you. Okay, so let's wait for this Linode to provision. And in the meantime, I'll go to embed chain. I'll say embed chain and this GitHub repo will open. Now I love this repo actually, and you can go and start it if you like it as well. But I'm going to show you how easy it is to install embed chain and then use it. You can even demo this on Google Colab. So let me show you the Colab link of this embed chain repo. So they have actually set up a Google Colab. You can go to Google Colab and get a runtime. If you don't know what Google Colab is, or if you are not comfortable with Colab, no worries. Just open this link, this uh, open in Colab link in a new tab, and then you can click on connect. Google Colab will give you a runtime. It's very easy and straightforward to use. So you don't have to worry if you don't know Google Colab. Simply click on connect, you will get a runtime. Once you get runtime, you can run this cell, which will install Ember Chain install it just like another Python package. And once you do that, all these commands will start executing. And as you can see, we have got a RAM and disk. If you hover over here, you will see that we are connected to a Python 3 Google Compute Engine backend and we have got 0.84 GBs of RAM, absolutely free of cost. Let's run it in the cell. And this notebook was not authored by Google. Let's run it anyway. And you can start running all these cells. But what I'm interested in right now is to run this in Linode. And why am I running it on Linode? Because I want to make sure that I am able to use Ember Chain outside of any other platform. I want to own the environment where I'm running Ember Chain, if that makes sense. Okay. Let's fire a terminal and I will simply open this terminal and I'll maximize it and zoom it and I'll copy this SSH root and let's log into this machine. I'm punching in the password that I selected to create this Linode. Just want to make sure that you see what I'm typing. So I'm going to type apt update. So apt update will update the Ubuntu package repository. And now I'll say apt install Python 3 and it is already newest version apt install Python 3 pip and we will get Python 3 pip. 
let's run all these commands into our into our uh, VPS. Okay, let's copy this. I'm going to copy this, and it's actually simple and straightforward. So let's wait for Python 3 pip to install. And once Python 3 pip installs, we are going to run it on this machine. But before that, let me show you how embed chain works and what exactly it is. So we import embed chain from app. And embed chain is really, very really easy. You don't have to learn anything. It's a package. It is doing everything for you. You don't have to learn anything. It's simple and straightforward. Okay, now one thing that you need to run embed chain is an open API key, open AI key. Okay, so let's go to open AI and you will have to log into open AI for sure. And yes, I want to use API. Now, a lot of people have this mentality. They don't want to pay for API key, but I would say API keys is going to be one of the best investments if you are even 3% into AI. I'm telling you, this is one of the best decisions of my life. Since I bought this API key, I'm able to experiment a lot of things. I'm able to use their APIs. I'm going to build applications. And let me tell you, I have done it for some enterprises, but even if you buy an API key at a personal level, you are going to love it. Okay. With that said, let's create a new secret key. You can always create a secret key. I'll name it Linode and you can label your secret key, whatever you want. You don't have to name it Linode. You can name it your name or code with Harry or whatever you want. Let's click on create secret key. And this is my open AI API key. Let's copy this and click done. Now this key has been copied and you cannot generate this key once again. I mean, you can generate a new key for sure, but you cannot retrieve this key once again. Let's go back and let's put this key inside our Google Colab. Now, let me tell you this key is not going to work because I am going to delete this key in the future. It's going to work for me, but it's not going to work for you. Okay. So do not try to copy all these characters. We are going to create an Elon bot in this example. So the idea is to create a bot which mimics Elon Musk's data. Okay. Let's run it. And we are initializing an empty app. And then we are saying that we want to add these resources to this bot. So if I click on this link, let's see what's there in this link, control click to follow. So this has some data. Let's control click to follow. And this has some data. And then once again, let's control click. This video has a transcript. What? which embed chain behind the scene parses. Initially, my mind was blown when I saw this YouTube link because I was thinking that it is going to the YouTube video and it is passing all the audio and then converting it to text and then uh, passing it to OpenAI. But that is not the case for now. I'm sure they are going to add this feature and uh, it's going to be very easy for them to add this feature in the future. But even pulling the transcript from a YouTube video is a great idea. Let's run this. So we are training our Elon bot on these three links and then your bot is ready. So it's going to be ready in a matter of minutes, I guess. I guess I need to install PyTube. Let me add another cell here. So I'm going to insert a cell. Let's insert a cell by clicking on plus code. And I'm going to say pip install PyTube and let's run it. And once I install PyTube, I guess everything is going to be all right. So it's installed. It has installed PyTube. Now let's try to train our bot on these three links. And uh, once I train it, I'll be back. Now, as you can see, this process was pretty fast. And in a matter of say 30, 30 40 seconds, it trained. Okay. And you can see on bot.query. Now you can ask any question that has, that is from this data basically. So I can say, Tell me in 22 must took the giving pledge, thereby committing to give the majority of his wealth to charities. Let's try to ask it a question from this page. So when did the Twitter deal, uh, let's say Twitter board agreed to sell the company to Musk for how, for how many dollars, for how much? And let's ask this question. And once I ask this question, it should answer me $44 billion. Let's see if it's able to answer this question. And yes, it has answered the question. Twitter's board agreed to sell the company to Musk for around $44 billion. Wow, amazing. So you can actually give it a lot of text and then you can expect it to answer questions from that text. So I'm going to do one thing. I'm going to click on file and I will export it as a PY file. So let's uh, open this PY file. 
and let me create a folder called embed chain here embed chain and let's put this inside embed chain folder and let's open this folder in vs code okay so this is the code it exported and we are installing embed chain and then we are installing pytube let's add it to requirements.txt so we have pytube we have embed chain okay and what else let me remove all these comments just for the sake of readability i'm going to remove this comment as well it has my open ai api key and let's remove everything so it's essentially i'll show you how many lines of code it's less than 15 lines of code guys it's less than 15 lines of code even lesser than that and you have your own bot let's do one thing let's create a news bot okay instead of creating an Elon bot I'm going to create a news bot and then I'm going to deploy this bot to Linode okay let's do one thing let's train it on some news and let's run a while loop and we are going to say question is equal to and then we'll say what is your question okay input okay so let's ask it a question and then I'm going to display the answer by using newbot.query so I'll say answer is equal to newbot.query and this new bot will have everything so let's say answer is equal to newbot.query and print answer okay and we'll, we'll also say if, if question equals to equals to Q then break break out of the loop okay so it will keep on asking the question until you hit Q let me also say what is your question press Q to quit and let's remove this okay let's remove this and let's try to run it locally let's do that and it is going to give me an error that embed chain is not found so I'll say pip install minus r requirements.txt and it will install pytube as well as embed chain and after everything is installed I'm going to run it here and since it has installed let's run it and let's see if it is asking the questions okay so I think it's initializing and it is training it and once everything is done it will show me what is your question and press Q to quit and it's actually using a database you can see it's chroma.sql3 SQLite sorry it's SQLite if I'm not wrong yes SQLite 3 and it is asking me what is your question so let me ask the question now let me show you something I'll ask who is Elon Musk and it will start giving me answers and let me change my code to add a new line here and Twitter's board agreed to sell the company to Musk around 44 billion dollars what's that okay so one more thing that I need to do is I need to supply the question instead of this Twitter board question so control C to interrupt let's run it once again and you'll see that it is training it once again it's skipping creating chunks it's actually faster than it was before and let's ask it who is Elon Musk and as you can see it has given me the answer Elon Musk is a business magnate and entrepreneur he was born in June 28 1971 in South Africa it is giving me every detail okay let's stop this and let's deploy it to Linode now so deploying it to Linode is going to be really very simple and straightforward all I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this requirements.txt file and you might want to skip that as well but it's a good practice to add requirements.txt and now I'm logging into my machine once again uh, let me punch in the password and yes I'm inside my machine let me do one thing let me create a folder called Elon bot or maybe embed chains so I'll say mkdir embed chain I'll cd into embed chain I'll do ls I'll say vim main.py let's edit this file let's copy the content of this file I'll say control a control c and then I'll paste it and let's save and exit I'll say pip3 install pytube embed chain and yes it's as simple as that and as you can see that it is installing embed chain and everything and the process is going to be very simple and straightforward I'm going to show you another use case of news articles so I'll say news and I'll show you there are some news 
here let's copy all these news articles we can always do all these things programmatically let's add all these articles so this is article 1 and then let's add this another article this is article 2 Control V to paste this is article 3 let's copy this and let's paste it and another article let's add another one and let's add this uh, I want to add another tech article like something from something which is different from this so I'll say Apple news and Apple Mac event let's copy this okay and let's paste it here okay yes let's go so I'm going to copy this code once again and I'm going to create another file news.py and I'm going to paste everything here now I'll say python3 news.py and it is going to train this bot on custom data okay so it says web page requires extra dependencies install with pip install minus minus upgrade embed chain data loaders let's do let's do that let's do that so let's copy this and let's do pip3 install minus minus upgrade embed chain data loaders okay all right so it's installing torch and it's pretty fast on linode great and using this on linode is useful in a way that you can deploy a flask app and it will keep on running for you so let us say you have some pages or you want to dynamically train your bot you can do that using fast api or maybe flask or django okay now it's installing a lot of other things let's wait for everything install and yes everything is done let's run python news.py and once everything is done i'll be back so it's training itself and it's telling me what do you want to ask so let's ask something about this apple macbook or let's ask it uh something about the event so i'll say which iphone was used to shoot the apple event okay let's ask it this question and it says that the iphone 15 pro max was used to shoot the apple event so you can ask anything about all these news articles and it is going to answer and this is really very good when you want to train a bot on your custom data using your api and you don't want to use any platform there are a ton of platforms which are offering software as a service and doing the same thing but with embed chain you have your open ai api key you can pay as you go to open ai not even to embed chain and this works this simply works let me tell you it works i've used it tons of times what do you think about this framework let me know in the comment section thank you so much guys for watching this video and i will see you next time